So there's a bone stock LS1, uh, 2001. So that means it has an LSX, LS6 intake. It's got 241 heads. Uh, everything is stock. Everything actually works on the car. It needs a paint job. Um, I need to change the oil pressure sensor because it leaks from there. Um, change the transfer or tran do a tranny service. But yeah, car runs, runs strong. Shifting at six grand. And just uh, let me show you, see if we can get a sneak peek at the new cat on the passenger side. There it is. There, there is a cat, at least the bottom portion. You see the weld uh, friend did it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I appreciate it. Uh, paid 150 bucks for the cat and I gave my friend a few bucks. Just so, uh, you know, in case something like this happens again, then, you know, I know I can reach out to him. So, there's a new cat. It's a Walker uh, Universal. So it has to be welded into place. Uh, maybe later on I'll... Uh, put a cap back on this car but with a new cat uh, I was able to clear code P0430 which is the passenger side cat and I tried all the tricks and none of them worked I needed a new cat uh, so now I'll go over <coughs> excuse me the drive cycles so as you can see there there's no check engine lights I had to check engine lights once I had the new cat installed and rather than erase them I just went through the drive cycles because secondary air had already cleared it was complete and I don't know how you uh, how to set it I usually have just gotten lucky so I just went through the drive cycles let me show you on my phone uh, this is the torque app So in order to get it to show complete and in green like uh, like you see here on my phone and this is the torque app um, you have to do cold starts so um, one of the first things I did is made sure the car was cold under 122 degrees Fahrenheit and once I turned it on and the and the idle came down under a thousand under 800 say closer to 600 then I turned on the AC I put it on I put the AC on max put the AC here on max turned on I turned on the defroster I turned on I turned on the fog lights because this thing has fog lights and I turned on my lights and I timed it for three minutes and then once the three minutes were up then I would go through the drive cycle that you can find but you need to do that first with a cold start and I think part of it is going up to 55 to 60 miles an hour for a, a few minutes then you slow down to about 20 miles an hour that's kind of tough so I would drop it into D and then into 2 um, and obviously you can't have too much traffic you can't do it with somebody tailgating you then you accelerate again and sometimes I would punch it I know some uh, and some drive cycles they say to just accelerate half throttle and three-quarter throttle but as long as you accelerate back up to 55, 60, you keep steady, then you decelerate again. Uh, again, same procedure, just uh, 55 for about uh, two or three minutes. You decelerate and you accelerate. 
and you do this at night if you can or do it on a, a cool morning or cool day cold day is good and then uh, you have to repeat the procedure go park your car and let it sit for eight hours and that's another cold start and once again you want to turn on the AC turn on the defroster turn on the light the headlights if you have fog lights turn on the fog lights do that for three minutes and and that should that should check your monitors uh, at least for let's say the O2 sensor heaters uh, it'll I'm sure it'll check other things but it'll definitely check that and you do that enough times and it should get you to like what you see here on my phone And so now my car is ready to smog. It's uh, Memorial Day, so I'll smog it tomorrow after work. But uh, the car, this LS1 Camaro has almost 200,000 miles, but. This car has almost 200,000 miles, but with a little bit of planning a little bit of hard work and the car is now ready for smog yeah hopefully this helps somebody i'll also write uh or link up uh, the drive cycles for the ls1 camaro uh in in the appropriate section um thanks for watching hit the like button please subscribe and uh, i'll i'll be sure to update you with things and progress on this car and maybe the nova and I'll see you later.